please open up the file called Pivot Tables. When you open up the file, you'll see a single tab in here with a bunch of data. And with this data here, we're going to create some pivot tables. So what we've got are a series of transactions. There's a date column. This is a business that's selling products online, t-shirts, pants, hats, and shorts. So it's got a date, a channel column, which indicates where the purchase came in from. Was it someone that's on a Facebook ad or LinkedIn ad or Google AdWords? What did they buy? How much was the product? What was the shipping cost and the marketing cost? So you can imagine that this is probably a standard type of data dump for a retail business. And let's look at how we could use some data tables to quickly analyze and synthesize this data. So I'm going to click on insert and pivot table. And then what I need to do is select the range, which is all of these cells here and press OK. And now what I can do is in this area here on the right, I can actually drag and drop certain things. And you'll notice that at the bottom, I've got here filters, columns, rows, and values. So rows are going to be the rows across, going across the side of the pivot table. Let's say that I want to see product. The type of product, hat, pants, shorts, t-shirt, and a row. So I drag that in place to down there. Then in the columns, let's say that I want to see the date. So I want to see based on these three days of information that we have. And I'm just going to adjust those columns here. And if you click back into the uh, pivot table here, you can re-enter the information area. So then what I want to actually display is the revenue. So I'm going to drag revenue into values. So you'll see that what that does here is it tells me that hats generated $25 of revenue on Jan 1, 25 on Jan 2, and 125 on Jan 3 for a grand total of 175. Here's what pants did, shorts, t-shirts. So another thing that I might want to do here is change this uh, value field setting. The default is for sum. So you'll see that it's actually summing up the data here. It takes, for example, on the third, all of the orders that total $125. If I put it to count and press OK, what it tells me is that I sold one hat on Jan 1, one on Jan 2, and five on Jan 3 for a total of seven. So I would call this a very basic pivot table where I'm, I'm mainly changing between product types and dates and revenue. Now that we've set up a basic pivot table, let's look at adding a filter. So right now we've got all of our product types and the dates of the transactions, and then we're counting the number of transactions. But let's filter. Let's filter these by channel. As you'll recall, we've got Facebook, email, LinkedIn, Twitter, AdWords, all sorts of channels. So we can add that filter to the top here. What that does, if I click up here, I can see now that if I want to analyze just the email channel, it now tells me hats, pants, and shorts by date by email channel. I can switch over to Twitter and see what was generated from the Twitter channel. You could try email, etc., etc., And then we can flip back to all channels. I'm also going to show you how to sort the row. What we can do here is we can have all selected or I could uncheck all and say I just want to see pants. So that's another way to slice and dice the data. And in terms of the columns, I can do the same thing. I can either show all dates or I can decide that I want to exclude January 2nd and just show those dates. And again, I can apply these other filters. So there are all sorts of ways to slice and dice this data after your pivot table is set up. Suppose I want to add something to this pivot table that doesn't exist on the dropdown that's not one of these options right here. There is a way I can create a calculated field. If I go to the Analyze ribbon and Fields and then select Calculated Field, I can actually create a new field name here, and I'm going to call this Contribution Margin. Suppose I want to see the contribution margin for each product. Contribution margin is equal to the revenue for that product, and I click Insert Field. 
plus the shipping cost, which is a negative number, plus the marketing cost, which is also a negative number, hence why they're being added. And then I click Add. And then I click OK. So at this point now, what I've got here, and I'm just going to simplify this by only showing one date, is you can see I've got the revenue and the contribution margin by product and by date, and then I've got the totals over here. So if I show two dates, I can see what January 1 did for total revenue and contribution margin, what January 2nd did, and what the first two days did as a total. So this is a nice way to add a calculation to a pivot table. So you can add all sorts of calculated fields to your pivot table, and it might be easier than actually going into the data table here and adding formulas and functions. It may be simpler just to leave this in its raw format, and then make any calculated fields here. You can always go back in and edit a formula and always add new ones. So this is a great way to really increase the sophistication of your pivot table.